Hi guys and welcome. Welcome again to another episode of The Seaman Vlogger. So for today's vlog, actually this vlog is the most requested. I don't know how many uh, cadets or persons of my sub or subscriber requested for this vlog. And now, this is it. I'm going to make this vlog. And before I start my vlog, I would like to read the shoutouts. Okay, um, so first shout out, um, sir, pa shout out no mom po, John Roy Akasho, at sa girlfriend ko. Okay, hi, shout out to you. Thank you for uh, watching and subscribing uh, the Simon Vlogger. Next is uh, from Mark Hill, Calagos. Uh, um, pa shout out po, thank you. Uh, thank you, now shout out to you. Thank you for watching. Liking and subscriber the Simon Vlogger. Next is from a shout out din po sir. Hey, hey. from Lance Gab Gabriel Lerdon. Hello, thank you, thank you for watching and subscribing. Shout out to you. So uh, what we are waiting for? Let's begin doing passage plan. Effective passage planning. Passage planning is a process that requires skill and meticulous research. It is not something that should be taken lightly as it carries responsibility and accountability and the consequence of getting it wrong are all too evident. A passage planner must be conscious and seek to produce comprehensive and detailed bird-to-bird -bird plan based on the fullest possible appraisal, taking into account that possibilities and eventualities while reducing navigation risk. An effective passage plan, regardless of whenever it is completed using paper chart or ectist, must clearly define a safe navigation route from bird to bird, be comprehensive and detailed, reduce navigation risk and include contingency options, take into account established safety margins, satisfy rigorous process, be easy to follow, allowing safe execution and monitoring of the plan be economical. The four stages of planning. The four stages of planning apply regardless of whenever a passage plan is preferred for completion on paper chart or for completion on ECTIS. Appraisal. The gathering of information available from all relevant sources concerning the contemplated voyage from birth to birth. To avoid waste effort, it should be include an appraisal report to the master before proceeding to the planning stage. Planning Having made the fullest possible appraisal, this stage compromised the construction of the entire route from birth to birth. Together with supporting information, the appraisal and planning stages provide a framework for the gathering, presentation, and subsequent details planning and are completed prior to sailing while the execution and monitoring stages are completed during the passage. Execution Final adjustment to the passage plan prior to departure are made by the officer of the watch or OW using the chart and supporting navigational information provided by the navigator. Monitoring Conducting the voyage in accordance with the plan from departure to arrival. Monitoring the ship's progress and adjusting the plan of required on passage. Analysis is an optional fifth stage in the process, where on completion of the passage plan and the plan its completion are reviewed. This provides an opportunity to discuss that what was done well, what could have been done better, and whenever anything needs to be amended to improve future voyage. Okay, so there you have it. You already know the four stage of creating a passage plan. By the way, every company have a different form of passage plan. But actually, all are the same. Um, they, they want nav areas, they want waypoint, they want the catso, they want the information from uh, bird to bird information, something like that, etc, etc. Actually, for this tutorial, it's a little bit, I mean, let's say 95% okay and 5% not okay. What I mean is, some passage plan from different company will be suit for this one, 
some or not but actually it will be okay 95% it will be okay for all of the company passage plan form so for example your captain give you an order to make a passage plan um, from Kerch Ukraine to Singapore so first you will going to ask your captain sir what do you want the exact or uh, just roughly when he said uh, roughly you can use the uh, BB port to port professional um, program okay so uh, this is the port to port uh, BP program actually this is used for all the for reference so as you can see port to port professional not to be used in navigation so for example you need the roughly distance and where is that location so for example we are going to type here Singapore see Singapore enter and for example Kerch Ukraine Kerch Ukraine enter so as you can see you already have an idea on how to create your route and roughly distance is already there 6347 and the ETA it is uh, it depends on your speed actually you can input that I don't know where's the speed over here yeah this is one the speed you're going to for example we're going to put 12 knots So the departure date for example is 13 as you can see the ETA um, destination date and time change so there it is this is how you use the uh, port to port BC professional program or if you don't have this uh, BP program on your computer you can use the chart catalog you can uh, search for your general chart and make a draft route. Okay, so this is the chart catalog. In case that your vessel still use charts on board, this is the one you needed. Because this is where you can find every chart you need. So for example, we're going from, uh, from Singapore, we are going to uh, Kerch, Ukraine. So first, as you can see so this is the Singapore so you need the I1 I H H2 F F2 F1 and F so I already write that I1 I H1 H2 F F2 F1 and F We're going to look for the general chart which is this one this is the big chart the uh, small scale so you have first as you can see this is Singapore right so you have this 4073 yeah until here so every square that correspond on the route going to Ukraine, Ukraine you must take this chart number so that is the general chart Next, we're going to have the uh, sailing chart. This is another uh, general chart. So this is the I. So on our list, it's I, right? I1. 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 So this is the Singapore. This one. So you need this chart, 3833. Then 1358. Everything here. Everything, everything everything that you see a number a box which is the line going here you need that every chart especially the large scale chart next is the eye so this is the eye it's the chart what's this eight three zero this one this one this one 
next h1 you see h1 from i we're going to h1 so here you can see all the chart just remember every chart every square that you're going for example this line going here you see you have all the chart you need we're going to this that the red c h2 see h2 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 every chart you need c inset one this is the inset one and we're now in first canal f you see f f f so this is the one so you're going here Swiss canal right then going here F2 see F2 F1 F F2 F1 and F see going here somewhere here now going to Kanakale Istanbul this is the Kanakale and going Istanbul yeah this one so we are here right going here then straight curt straight did you see the chart 2216 so every chart you, did, you must record it or if you are a paperless vessel because some of the vessel now have paperless if they have to act this they don't have chart anymore I mean they have chart but it's only emergency chart so if you have the ENC of Ukraine going to Singapore, you can create a route roughly and let's see if the captain will decide uh, if it's okay for him. Okay, so today I'm going to show you on how to know if you have an ENC on board or uh, where you're going to find it inside of your Actis. So first, you're going to chart. Then you can see the globe nice globe right then go to manage chart then it will load so as you can see all of the green square it means you have this ENC it means uh, that is our present voyage uh, from my example is from Singapore to Kerch Ukraine so the Ukraine is over here so we don't have that chart but from Singapore we have until Suez we have because we're going here in Yanbu and this is the uh, chart name and the status up to date ENC so take note, every actis have different types on how to manage your ENC. This uh, actis is a foreign type, but I already experienced Maris and Transas. But for me, I like the secret. I mean, uh, I like the one of the actis. It's much more uh, good or uh, easy to navigate. Okay. Next step is to make the passage plan from birth to birth. Um, you can do that. I mean, you can uh, search for the GPS position of the pilot station from the uh, volume 6 of digital radio publication. So, for example, you're going to uh, take the pilot station of the Singapore. So, first, you go to uh, Admiralty Digital uh, Radio Signal. That's the uh, volume 6. So this is uh, what inside. Then type search Singapore. Then enter. Oh, sorry. Again. Singapore. 
So, you have, for example, you're going to Jurong, Singapore. Then scroll down. See? See the pilot details. This one. Details, see Singapore. And scroll down. You will have the pilot station here. Moment, sorry. Over here. So you see pilot boards in the following area. So we are going to use uh, which is my favorite pilot boarding when I'm in Singapore. The Eastern Boarding Ground Bravo or the PEB GB. Next step, um, you need a book which is the uh, volume 2 of the digital publication which is you're going to use for the zone time. So you will know the zone time of the Ukraine and Singapore. This is Admiralty Digital Radio Signal Number 2 or the Volume 2. So how to use it? Actually, I am using this for the uh, zone time of the counter. For example, I am going to Italy. Just put the search tab in Italy. Enter. So you can see the legal time. So for example, in Area 1. So you have... The standard hours is west 1 west or minus 1 and the DST is minus 2 from last Sunday of March to last Sunday of October. So this is how I use the uh, volume 2 of the Adventure Digital Radio Signal. This, this is for the time zone. Next book, um, you need the uh, ENP or electronic nautical publication or if you heard if you heard the hard copy it's called the uh, sailing direction in that book um, you will uh, see the information of what you want your current sugar in Singapore um, this is the uh, Admiralty e reader or the ENP the uh, electronic type of the sailing direction publication so in here um, this is like same as the uh, volume 6 but this is much more uh, more explained and more broad for everything just like here the mariners routing guide diverse area fishing skate and traps marine farms etc etc even the currents and the weather so this is the use of the Ad admiralty e-reader or the sailing direction Next book is the uh, total tides. So total tides usually uh, give you information about the uh, current, the uh, height of tide, low tide, every hour, every 30 minutes, something like that. Okay, so this is the Admiralty total tides and I'm using this um, for calculating uh, my uh, UKC or the undercure clearance. And in total tides, you will have the high tide and the low tide and you have here the uh, hourly for the tides you see at 9 o'clock it's 2.3 then it until uh, 1400 that's the lowest 1.3 and you can set that by 0.5 1 hour 1.5 2 hours 2.5 depending on what you like and another one you have the current so this is the current at 9 o'clock 1.1 knots at 238 degrees so this is the purpose of the admiralty total tides on board and actually if you don't have an idea how to create the route you can look for the book of the ocean passage of the world which is this one okay so this is the admiralty ocean passage of the world um, we have two volumes. The volume 1 is for Atlantic Ocean and the volume 2 is for the Indian and Pacific Ocean. So if you're uh, getting the NP number, it is NP136. Now we have the first edition of 2018. This is the latest. So what's inside of the volume 1 is 
as you can see on the map this is the coverage of volume 1 and this is the coverage of volume 2 so what's the purpose of this book? the purpose of this book is this one the ocean passes of the world a wealth of information on ocean voyage planning individuals chapters on each of the world oceans weather, currents, swell, and ice hazards shortest routes between the ports and important position routing details for powered vessels so it means um, actually it's not a mandatory but this book will give you information on uh, making your uh, waypoint or your route going from your destination and uh, there's information too for the uh, winds and weather the North Pacific Ocean Northeast trade wind Northeast monsoon so all of the monsoon and the weather are here so you can read it tropical storm yeah Southeast trade wind the western east well everything you need in creating your passage plan then for example we're going to use the uh, volume one set set the volume two so what's inside of the volume one same as the volume two it have weather conditions currents etc etc and the important is this one for example then it's inside of the What's this? It's inside of the Mediterranean Sea. So in here, this book is giving an example of a route with GPS position. So it's easy. So you will just plot it on your egg disk or in your chart. But of course, you must double check if the route is correct and then there's no wreck you're going to have or I mean uh, you will not be aground you will not be on the uh, no-go area something like that is this book is only giving you um, uh, idea on how to create or where to go or where to put your line okay this is another example of the route in the ocean passage of the world uh, it's the black sea route so as you can see from here from samsung going to um, odessa or burgas going to poti so you will not get lost and gps position are here for your reference and you have the information of the uh, load line in this book and you have uh, the symbols so world climate chart on January so this is what will happen in January then on July then wave height in January so that's it that's what's inside of the uh, Admiralty Ocean Passage of the World Volume 1 and 2 Then, for your nav text um, Minmarsat C Satellite, if you're going to use IOR, VOR East or West and nav text, you will need the uh, Digital Publication Volume 3, 4 and 5 This is the Admiralty Digital Radio Signal Volume 1 3, 4, 5 So, this the um, publication I am using this for uh, the nav text information for example this one so you can see 
you have all the enough text here and for the weather forecast this one the Inversat C uh, setting so as you can see for uh, nav area broadcast I have IOR satellite so I can change that to IOR and this is the time for the forecast safety net okay and a lot more a lot more for you see you have the MW station other station radio fax nav text nav areas search and rescue and radio station so everything is here but usually I'm using this for the uh, change of uh, satellite in the MRSAT and uh, NAFTEC station and sometimes the frequency for the NBDP. Then you need this book which is uh, the ship's routine. So ship's routine information about the TSS. Well, I just show you in this video. Here it is. Okay, so this is the ship routing um, 2017 edition. So what is the purpose of this book? Actually, it's already written here. It's the inshore traffic zone. So what is the good example for this? It's just like road in land. So for example, this one is going to Baklaran and this one is going to Sukat. Or for example, this one is NLEX going to North and NLEX going south. So the vessel have TSS or traffic separation scheme to uh, especially uh, near on the land so to prevent the uh, confusion of the vessel and prevent collision accident. So what's inside of this book? Let's look. So actually we will have example for this one. So this is the uh, in the approach to Hook Holland and the North Hinder East. So as you can see, there's plenty of line up there. So this one is going there. This one's going there. So all of these points, as you can see, 69, 9, it's in here. That's the coordinate. Actually, this book is very useful before when the uh, FDC is not yet mandatory. When I got promoted as second officer, I only have GPS, ECDIS, and two ARPAS. So I don't have ECDIS. This coordinates, which, uh, which you are uh, seeing now, I am inputting that on the ARPA so that this, this line, this figure will be on ARPA. So uh, it's just like a mini or the early age of the uh, GPS. One more thing which I like in this book is this one. It's the area to be avoided. So as you can see, I mean this is the map of the world. There are some areas which is areas to be avoided. So the example of that one is this one. You see? So it means uh, you cannot go inside. Uh, for more information, you can read the uh, sailing direction of the area. And actually, uh, for us, as of now, we have this act this, this already automatic inside. Even this TSS, it's already inside of the act this, so there's no problem on this one. So actually, this box just only display on the bridge. It's just mandatory for the uh, bridge uh, book collection. And Lastly is the digital admiralty like this it, it, actually this is for the uh, voice or something but usually I never uh, use this. I only use this once. So here it is. So this is the Admiralty Digital List of Light. Actually to tell you frankly, I am not using this. But I use this once because my uh, captain told me before that go look for Okha because um, that's our next, vo next voyage so actually I don't know where is the Okha um, I already uh, searched for the uh, sailing directions and the volume 6 but I don't know where it is but here in digital list of lights 
Okra is a lighthouse. So I just searched for this one. Actually, uh, I'm using before the uh, book, not this electronic type. So this one is not commonly used on board. So this is the Admiralty Digital List of Lights. Okay, uh, this book is actually not on my list, but uh, I just want to share it. So this book is the Passage Planning Guide, Strait of Malacca and Singapore. Um, yeah, this is a VLCC. So actually this one is just instructed on the sailing direction, but this is much more broad, much more half information, uh, picture, etc., everything. So let's just take a look inside. But actually I'm not using this one. So this is for the eastbound. So what's for the eastbound? You see? Information of the boy, one fathom bank. Uh, usually uh, if you're uh, going inside from west, you can see the picture, information, sepat beacon, sepat boy, and reporting, citing something. Yeah. You can see everything here. They uh, make it broad than uh, sailing direction westbound see mm, cannot see the uh, yeah this one see everything is here so this one is the boundary of the reportings you can see that too in the uh, sailing direction I mean no yeah have a sailing direction but much better that uh, you can look or you can find it in the Admiralty uh, Admiralty Digital Publication Volume 6 in the One Fathom Bank Lighthouse everything everything is here so this one see have have the old information so this is the book of passage planning guide for singapore i think there is a passage planning guide for uh english channel dover street yeah something like that same as this one but usually i'm not using that um i'm using the sailing direction but if you're much un uncomfortable with the sailing direction you can use this one this is very informative and very useful so next step, if you already have the pilot station of the Ukraine and the uh, Singapore, now you will create the draft from general chart or from Bridgman software. So this is uh, an example of the Bridgman software which I use since I become a second officer until now. Okay, uh, so now we are going to input all the positions from my program which I am using since I was uh, first promoted, I mean promoted as a second officer. So we will see if the uh, manual plotting 355 nautical miles is correct. So now what? So the total distance is 352.9. Mm. So the manual is 355. Yeah, it's correct. So now we will see the map. Show part 10. And I'll just zoom this one. Okay, so as you can see, I'll just zoom it more. 
Uh -uh. So as you can see, uh, it's just the same as from the uh, chart. Actually, as you can see here, um, it's already on the island. But from the information, you see this one. These maps are not to be used for position fixing. The information are very old. So that is okay. At least you have the original waypoint from the chart. Now this will be your uh, backup data. So you'll just correct that when you have this uh, large scale chart. You will correct all the positions and when you correct it it will be okay now if you're asking where is the Kerch to Singapore passage plan so here it is I'll just unsave this and this will be able to, oh sorry okay so it's Kerch Ukraine type F G H Kerch yeah, this one. Okay, so I'll just worldwide. No, no, this one. See, as you can see, I have already the Kurt Ukraine, then Singapore Strait, Red Sea, uh oh, Gulf of Baden, going to. Sorry. Oh, wait, worldview going to Singapore this one you see I have um, this game so where is it navigation map I'll just put here so somewhere here see I have so this is for the pilot station so I have the coordinates at the bottom as you can see here so if you like this to save in Excel all the GPS position and distance and course just go to file um, save file to Excel format and loading sorry if it take too long okay so for example you have four types of excel so for example i will save for uh, excel format one okay show excel format okay no Sorry if it take too long because it's, it's very very long uh, waypoint. Mm, what's this? File not exist. So here it is. You see, this is the Kurt Ukraine. It didn't save, but it's already formatted. So as you can see, this one total distance is six six zero two point nine and it's already here so you can just plot that in the chart or input in the uh, like this if you have one so in the long run i mean uh, for the next vlog i'll show you how to operate or what is good and bad of my program which is the bridgeman actually i bought this around something dollars or pesos but it actually this is very expensive program because it's licensed to your name you cannot share it if you're going to share it um, it will be difficult uh, it's complicated anyway for the next vlog I'll show you or teach you how to operate this bridgeman um, program for navigators now if you already created everything everything is perfect everything is done now show it to the master and let him decide. Uh, make him decide if, sir, this is okay. Explain to him where are you going, where is the route going. If you want some editing, just tell him, okay, sir, where is the edit so I can edit. Then after that, you edit, you finalize, then bring him back again this route. 
then if the master decide now it's time to finalize the room so first step if you have an egg this actually i don't have the uh, chart for ukraine but anyway i'm going to show you how to make a route from the egg this so here it is okay so uh, this is how you do a route from the egg this okay by the way I cannot give you the example of Singapore to Kerch, Ukraine because we don't have voyage in Kerch, Ukraine so it means I don't have map there as a company policy if you're going there you order the map if you're not going there you cannot order the map because the map is cost so expensive anyway I'll just give you example um, I'm going to make a route from Pujaira going to Rastanura so this is how you're going to make a route um, actually we are using the uh, Furuno so first you go into the plan then planning then route and select new okay so you already have the new one so next stage is going to Fujaira, which is here. This is only an example, uh, this is only abroad. For example, we're going to just click here. So I have a route there. Okay. Click here. So you have another one there. Example going directly there. There 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 then going straight here. and finish so you already have a route from Fujaira going Rastanura so this is only an example so there's a plenty check for that uh, the safety check the automatic but usually I am always do the manual so the coordinates are here so you're going to name all the coordinates here for example this one, the number one, what I know is that's the Fujaira Anchorage B. Then number two, you're going to name that, uh, how to name it, for example, this is your number two. What you can name for that one, for example, this one. You can uh, name that nearest the rule that none. You can see that. So the name of the waypoint, which is much near name. Next, this is the Hormo Strait. You can name this number for waypoint as you see this one Jarisat Didam. So that's how you uh, make it, and usually you can extract this waypoint, or if you can extract it, 
write it manually, uh, put it in the company uh, form of the uh, passage plan. So next up, I'll teach you how to uh, create in a chart. But then again, we don't have this kind of uh, chart going from Singapore to Ukraine because on board, we are now using Epi, so we are paperless. We have chart here, but it's not updated. So I'll just show you, just only show you how to make a route. Okay, so you already know the how to make the route in Ectis. Now, this is how to make a route in a chart. But actually, I still the same. I don't have chart because our vessel is already paperless. So I'll just show you how to make this general chart line. Okay, so this is one example of making a route from chart. So I'll give an example from Greece to Kanakali Street. So always remember that do not use permanent pen like I did. I only use permanent pen so that you can see it clearly. Always use pencil when making your route on a chart. Just like this. Anyway. So I have 10 waypoints. 1, 2, to 10 so in every waypoint you need the coordinates latitude and longitude the course and the distance so I've already, pre already prepared the GPS position the course distance and the total distance of the voyage and if you have already the route and the master agree with it now it's time to transfer in a small scale chart i mean I, in the large scale chart so in here i already marked the chart that you needed so it's 1093 1092 1087 1086 and 244 you must transfer your route to the large scale chart why because in here as you can see on the waypoint 8 you cannot see the tss but if you have this uh, 1093 of the uh, chart you can see the tss so you can adjust your route or your waypoint to the corresponding tss the position i get it from manual by the use of the compass divider the latitude and the longitude the course which is here I use the triangle two triangles to transfer it in compass rows or using the compass of the compass divider number three the distance I get the distance by measuring this point one to point two and putting here and there you have it now you already know how to create a passage plan and I hope this vlog helped you so uh, by the way if you like this vlog kindly uh, like and subscribe my Facebook and YouTube channel the name is The Seaman Vlogger so thank you I hope to see you on my next vlog